Well, it's collection week, and I'm gonna show you guys my video game collection. So I've been building this collection since I was a little kid, uh, starting with my NES, and I only really have two rules to my collection. Uh, the first rule is it has to work. So it has to still be a functioning game or game system. And the second rule is that I only buy used items. All right, so let's start with gaming systems. Um, I just bought this great new unit for my games. And so it's, it's pretty nice, it fits everything. Now, I have an NES, an SNES, and a Genesis, but instead of take up more space in this thing, I went out and I bought this. This is called the Retron 3, and it holds all three of those cartridges, and you just switch between them with this knob here. And you switch back and forth when you, when you want to play the different systems. And it also takes original controllers on either side. So it's a really great way for me to save, you know, it only has one port to hook up to my television. Uh, then I also have my uh, N64, and a GameCube, and a Wii to round out the Nintendo stuff. And then I have uh, an Xbox 360, but it is broken right now, so I gotta get a different one. And then I also have the original Xbox, and I also have a PS3 and um, a PS2. I have a PS1 somewhere in all of my stuff, but uh, I typically just keep these two hooked up. And this is my Blu-ray player. Kitty has decided to join me on uh, showing you my stuff. Um, so I also have bins that I keep underneath with all the controllers for everything. And uh, I just, it keeps it out of the way for when I need it. I also have a bunch of specialty items. Uh, first of which is the Virtual Boy. Uh, this is a 3D system from way back in the day and it makes you go blind. <laughs> uh, it wasn't very successful. Um, and it only had 16 games, but the, the only two I've been able to find is Wario Land and uh, Red Alert. And it had a very weird controller and a little stand for it. And then I have uh, the original Game Boy, which totally still works. It's awesome. Da ding And I also have the, the GBA, the, the one that the screen doesn't light up. I bought this just before the ones with light-up screens came out. Uh, I've got Kirby, Metroid, Tetris, Mario Land 1 and 2, and uh, TMNT 2. Which is a, it's kind of a small collection for Game Boy, but uh, I'm okay with that. And I also have the Nintendo Super Scope, this badass bazooka. Uh, also kind of has a limited number of games for it, but I've recently bought a whole bunch of them. And then I have the uh, Nintendo Original Gun, which is fantastic. This was from my original set. It's, it's pretty badass. So I keep everything in these bins in the bottom of my coffee table, so it's uh, a little easier to manage. So I have a pretty good selection. I don't collect every single game out there, but um, I like to collect maybe the top 10 to 20 games of every system. So I've picked out a bunch just to show you really quickly. Uh, it's hard to go through my entire collection. Anyway, yes, first of all, I do have Battletoads. It's awesome. I can get pretty far in it. Um, I can get past a really hard cart part. Uh, Mega Man 2, which I have beaten, Dodgeball I've beaten, Dr. Mario I got to 20th level, so I guess that means I beat it. Um, I've never beaten Star Tropics, but it's one of my favorite games. Double Dragon is also extremely hard, and so is Ninja Gaiden, very famous, but uh, I've never beaten those. Uh, but I have beaten Captain Skyhawk, one of my favorite flying games. Jet Force Gemini, Super Mario 64, 
Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, Donkey Kong, Mario Kart, Majora's Mask, Tetris, Kirby, Smash, 007, Star Fox. I've got all the classics, but I gotta say, um, Zelda Ocarina of Time is still my favorite. Uh, this game is very r rare and hard to find, but it's super fun. The music in it is really good. And then Super Nintendo, I've got the other Battletoads that exists. And then uh, Mario World, All Stars, uh, Super Mario RPG. Not a lot of people know about this game, but it's fantastic. Um, and Jurassic Park. And this is one of the worst games that I own, but I think it's hilarious. Star Trek Deep Space Nine. It's so terrible, but I love owning it. Uh, and then I also have um, Mortal Kombat, which is really super fun at a party. PS2 games, my favorites are definitely Katamari Damacy. If you've ever played these games, they're hilarious. You roll up stuff in a big ball, and that's the point of the game. And then Okami, which I've beaten, which is fantastic. It's a very, very beautiful game. It's almost like, it's kind of like Zelda, but you play as a wolf goddess. Um, and then I've got Battlefront, which is one of my favorite games. Love it. Uh, Tenchu, where you play a ninja. And Crimson Skies, which was a launch title for Xbox, but uh, yeah, again, not a lot of people know about this game, but it's really super fun. It's one of the best flyers out there. Um, and then for cube games, this is one of my favorite games, little lesser known game. Um, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters. You basically just, you're, you're Godzilla and you fight the other monsters and you destroy the city and that's it. It's pretty great. It's just a punch em up fighting game. And then I got the Lego Star Wars. I have both of them. It's pretty, pretty fun. Um, and then I have for PS3, Fallout, Fallout 3, and I have Borderlands 1 and 2. Those are awesome titles if you ever want to pick those up. These are just some of my, some of my favorites. Um, but I'm, I'm always looking out for good games that I'm gonna like that are actually playable. Well, I hope you guys had fun looking at my collection. I think the key to maintaining a collection like this is uh, don't throw your controllers when you get mad. Don't blow into the cartridge. That's a myth. Um, it puts moisture on the heads and you don't want to do that. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for watching.